Welcome back to A Keeper of the Prophecies. We are here inside the... I was going to say moratorium. Mortuary. Mortuary. Uh, and we have to find Mortician Megatree's pocket watch. We may also view the body of uh, Solustus here, I believe. I can hear footsteps nearby. Sounds like they might be through that door, and this is a metal floor, so I'm walking quite slowly. What's in this room here? Uh, a gravestone and some grave tools. Well, it's locked. It's easily sold. Yes, there's a guard. Well, why don't we wait for them to, uh... Oh, they're not coming all this way, okay. Should make it easy. Just in time. He can sit quietly there. Why am I hearing other footsteps, aren't I? No? Whoops. That jump was meant to land me on the carpet, but didn't, so uh, it made more noise than I planned. Tile floor is also noisy. Alright, we're back here at the entrance. Alright, so I've come around in a complete circle. Uh, it is now like quarter, quarter to nine or something. We have a little over an hour before Holly was well, old man I really wish I could say how sorry I am to see you go but then I'd be joining all the other liars in this town a little more than an hour before we have to get into the Hammerhead Cathedral I believe and then Not very much longer after that before this uh, poison will take its final effect on us and we will die. Well, two hours after that, I guess, midnight. Twenty to nine, okay. Twenty to nine. Was there was a staircase, okay. We can go upstairs. Oh, that's not tile floor. That's all right then. Oh, it's a very bad choice for us to leave, my husband. For if we depart tonight, the hammers are sure to accuse us as well. No, I do. I do not agree. But tomitus, could we not just stay and tell them what they wish to know? Only our trust has gone over to the other side. Surely our confessions of loyalty will be enough to satisfy the Hammers? No, Ida. The Hammers will not be satisfied with us until our entrails are spread across their dungeon floor. We must leave tonight. Well, either way doesn't really concern me. These valuables do. Throwing away notes. My dearest Cavador, I have begun this letter many times only to realize how I am asking the impossible. But even if there is some chance, then I must ask. In my positions of Hammerite Deacon and City Mortician, I often learn of unusual theories and superstitions regarding the resurrection of the dead. Most often, it is nothing more than the hysterical rantings of the bereaved in their throes of grief. But one man, quite composed in fact, made a strange claim recently. He says that your master may be the guardian of a strange machine that can somehow undo the past. And so I must ask you, even beg you, as one who has recently lost my own daughter, is there a way for this? Would it be possible to undo a night nearly three weeks ago, 
On that third day of the Raven Moon, when Bounty Hunters chased her into the river, thinking her to be a feral child. I would not even ask, but how can... Ah, it is but madness. Uh, this mortician is uh, not entirely in favor of death. Ah, there's the pocket watch. It uh, functions as a compass and tells me the time. How handy. Oops, let's turn the light off, shall we? And there's a photo of the mortician's daughter. Come on, ghost, come out. Objective! Mega Freeze little girl would like a dolly to have an adventure. Take the doll with you. Alright then. Come on, Judy. Oh! Healing potion! <coughs> and holy water, which is hard to select apparently. I'm sure there's a bedroll in there that I can't pick up. Okay, so... There's still one more area of this mortician's residence. There's another set of stairs. I think. There's somebody walking around out here, so there must be some way out. Or perhaps not. That just must be him himself. Alright. I'm done with the morticians then, I guess. Uh, that's from the front door. This is the front door. Alright. So, we have the pocket watch so we know how much time we have left, but we still have not found any evidence uh, that would indicate who is responsible for my poisoning. I'm guessing the morticians is not the place to find such evidence. Where does this go? Ah, oh, the riverbank. Right, that's, uh, that's the way I arrived here. Guard there at, uh, I guess it's the uh, giant warehouse. If we come around this side, nothing. Or rather, oh wait, maybe this is the way I arrived. Yeah, this is the way I arrived at the. Uh, uh, came around there and found the dam. That's right. Came came in this way. Uh, all right, back to the bridge, I guess. So, which is, uh, it's the play killing me again. So we'll come back here and up the stairs. It's about to hear the clock strike nine any minute now. All citizens in good standing, it is required of thee to deliver up uh, all feral children discovered roaming the streets. Any citizen found to harbour such children not of their own making will likewise be delivered, delivered unto the enterprise. So order it by Pavel of Storm, Viceroy to Forsythius the Just. Yeah, I guess they were running short on slaves and that's their uh, test subjects. 
And that's the way of dealing with it, huh? Someone there. Hey. Carry on that business. Alright, um... Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I can go. Alright, well I got chased this way before and didn't see if any of these doors open. Might. Ah, oh, sound feels like it needs a key. What have we here? Frenticius, Beasley, and Waxman, attorneys at law. Well, perhaps these are the people who ordered my poisoning. Would not surprise me. Okay, let's shut them out. Ooh. There's a guard. There's also a healing potion. Uh, yes, pension did. Competition for us. A shame how he terminated his own life. Such a dissatisfying end to our mutual rivalry. Pinchin Din is of no concern to me any longer. I have need of someone like you, Crastius. Someone who does not sleep, and especially someone who knows better than to investigate my private affairs. Counselor Frantitius. I can assure you that I do not sleep when there is valuable information to be learned. Yet as to these private affairs of which you speak, it is far too late for me to make such an unlikely promise. For it is impossible for me to ignore the truth of your involvement in the death of Lady Alicia, and even of the Master himself. What? What? How? How can this be? Again, someone dares, dares to threaten me with information. Twice in as many weeks, I am investigated behind my very own back by scum such as you. What is it about your kind that must tread upon the intimate details of their employers? Am I not the master of Celestis Industries? Am I not to be obeyed? You are to learn what I tell you to learn, and you are to do what I pay you to do, and nothing more. Is that understood? Or must I be forced to find yet another investigator who understands the proper bounds of his responsibilities? But my dear friend Titius, you cannot escape our kind so easily with your bluster. Was it not your very own hand which did slay Lady Alicia and poison the master himself? The information of such treachery must come with a price. Get out before I have my guards throw you out. As you wish, Counselor. But we will have a payment from you tomorrow. And only then will we continue the task of destroying that vermin as you have instructed. We do not wish to receive a payment from you under false pretenses. Uh, we have overheard some accusations that Frantitius, Franticius, Frantic, Frantic, Fringius is the one that poisoned Celestus. And no doubt also the one who poisoned us. What's going on now? Oh, it's just guards. Alright. I will let them go on their way. But we must find evidence, too. Not enough to have PSA. Written documentation, perhaps. 
Well, Beasley's not a fault. I can't get to their offices. So let's just break into this office. Oh, sounds like somebody discovered a body or something to hide some. Uh, I overlooked some gold. Council of Frantitious, the untimely demise of Inspector Pinchenden is regrettable. He was an admirable competitor. But be assured that I will provide the professional security and investigative services you deserve. For 5,000 gold, I will rid you of the vermin, the one named Garrett. And I will gladly meet with you at your earliest convenience to receive initial payment along with information that might aid in his destruction. Regards, Crastus, Senior Security Officer. Uh, alright, well... So, looks like I'm worth 5,000 gold to this frantitious. I suppose it really doesn't hurt his cause to kill off everyone with legitimate claim, like me. And it does not hurt his cause to eliminate my father's daughter as well, since I was the last rightful heir to my father's estate. And so this whole charade tonight is to get me to kill Frantitious, because you can't... Kill Frantitious now? You do not understand anything. If you had killed him a few months ago, it would have been worth the trouble. But now? It's too late. Tonight, you must save yourself. That is all that matters. Once you are finally cured, after this terrible poison has been neutralized, then will I finally rest in peace, knowing that you have been saved. Is that all you want? To help me so that you can finally rest in peace? I failed to warn you because I could not reach you in time on the night I was killed. But now, I give you this one last chance. Do what the keepers say, Garrett, and all will be well. That's what you told me to do. Ghosts always worry so much about unfinished business. Come on, Garrett, pull yourself together. This is just another hallucination, which means that I'm running out of time. All right, hammerite scroll and a cathedral gate key. Is that the scroll? No. Where's this hammerite scroll? Council of Frantitious. Thy proposal for legal services is accepted. All documents regarding the poor workmanship of our security walls will be provided unto thee at a meeting of the deacons, the 25th day of the Raven Moon, at the 8 o'clock evening hour. A front gate key will be given unto thee, and Deacon Megatree shall escort thee if thou desireth the guide. Rumours abound of insurrection, and therefore we must require of thee to make thy exit prior to the tenth hour, lest thou find thyself locked within our humble establishment, the main battlement doors being closed fast and unmovable at that hour. To facilitate additional meetings, thy front gate key may be kept as long as thou hast dealings with us. Philoxus, High Vicar. Alright, well now I have the key, the front gate key, I should be able to make my way to... The cathedral. Hello, what's... What's up with you? Oh, you're zombified. Good work, mate. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be good enough because... Uh, zombies don't stay down. Stuck in an endless loop of death, is he? Now I have to figure out how to get past here without... <coughs> oh, they're all fighting zombies. Hey! Good work, guys. Don't mind me. I just need this key. Oh, 
And I'll sneak in up unobserved while they're all chasing zombies. Found all we needed. Uh, we got to the cathedral just after nine, so it's about three hours before uh, the poison will kill us. I presume we're not going to have all that time on the next mission. It's probably going to be fixed because we had to find our way in before ten. And we took the doll on an adventure. Uh, total time: one hour, one minute, thirty-nine seconds. Found three quarters of the loot. One of four secrets. All right. Uh, it's not when it gives you a time limit. It's not the most encouraging to search for secrets. But I guess in actual fact, I had two hours to play, and I did it in half that time. So that's not too bad at all. All right. So before I begin the next episode, uh, I should point out that there, according to the readme, there's a big warning for uh, strobe lights in this next mission, and uh, if you're photosensitive, sensitive, to avoid it. So, let's carry on. The Insurrection. You have been poisoned, and according to the Keepers, the antidote can be found by accessing a Precursor portal hidden somewhere in the new Hammerite Cathedral. Locate the portal. The Hammerites plan to destroy the portal at midnight. That leaves you less than two hours. Access the portal while you still have time. The Hammerites already have enough problems tonight. Don't kill any of them. Right, if we go to hard, it leaves us 80 minutes. And if we go to expert, it leaves us 65 minutes. So once again, I will go stick on normal, where we've got about two hours. Uh, again, the pocket watch will show us how long it is till midnight. The insurrection. You have fallen unconscious near the cathedral. because you have been poisoned by sinister forces. The Keepers have sent you here to find a Precursor portal. For it leads to a place where you can be cured. But the Hammerites plan to destroy the portal at midnight. So if you want to survive this mess, you had better hurry. Garrett, on your feet. You must continue. Get up. Yeah, Garrett, get up. Don't be lazy. Keepers. Yeah, I've had enough of this. Ten minutes past ten. And we've got a bunch of equipment here they gave me, so I'll take it gladly. My brothers of the Hammerite Order, be thou alert, for it hath been discovered that wayward elements do attempt to infiltrate our humble establishment at this very hour. To thy defensive position, <coughs> to bow and hammer in readiness, one and all. Quite a battle going on up there. All right, objectives: locate the precursor portal somewhere in the Hammerite Cathedral area. Access the portal before midnight, and don't kill any Hammerites. So check the map. Uh, we must be under the bridge here. The map is pretty straightforward. There's a couple of towers. Cross-shaped area. Balconies up above. As I write this, the Hammerites seem to grow suspicious of my activities. I must be brief. Appearing as a mere novice, I was not able to access all levels, but it is known that the Hammers will destroy the object of our interest very soon. 
I just hear of a special ritual to be performed. These backward hammerites can do nothing without a ritual, even their dead refuse to die without one. The device still throbs with a regular beat, even now while it lies dormant. Thou may follow this sound to locate the machine no matter where it may be taken. Ground level entrances are heavily guarded from within. Thy approach, therefore, might be best through pre-made breaks in the security perimeter along the river ice. Access to the laboratories has been blocked from below, but there are useful elevators in the rear of the building. The only remaining way to these elevators is by entrance through the east attic, from whence ramps lead down to the elevators in question. Proximity mines are placed within these laboratories. I am therefore certain that even the most foolish of the Hammerites will not. Oh, I must go now. Well, knowing there's mines is a very useful thing. Let's keep exploring this ice and hope it doesn't break underneath me again. Just falling in would be a nuisance. Let's see if we can't find a uh, break in the security perimeter as you as you wrote about. Very noisy, resonant ice. Maybe I do have to swim to find this break in the security, because this looks like a pretty high wall. I wouldn't expect to find a bit of it crumbling just because there's a river here. But then again, that's a very fast flowing river. Aha! There is a crumbling piece of wall. Alrighty then, let's. Uh, to save. Which looks like it comes into the crypts. Very peaceful too, these crypts are. Not filled with their undead as usual. some odd laughter. Now we have guards. And what sounded like a, uh, what sounds like haunts as well. More apparitions. Like mechanists, not hammerites. But it's possible that they are. That goes back up. So, where does this lead? Ah, uh, too dramatic sound effect. Hmm. Odd to go. What? <laughs> You may sleep. Indeed, an odd noise. Thou art indeed a mechanist. I guess you are starting to take over this place. But I shall have thy valuables. And that also goes up. Nine water arrows left. <coughs> and I'm still playing. Oh, what have we got here? Ah. Oh, 
Bounds. Bunch of thief supplies in a crypt. And what is this? It's just a lift. It's just, just a lift. Okay. Western side, I suppose. I don't know where this goes. It looks lighter at the top. I hope, I hope it doesn't take me straight into danger. That doesn't look like a great place to sit. To hang about. But I don't actually see any guards in here. Alright. This is a big room. This is like reaching the limits of visibility, probably, for uh, the dark engine. Now, if I stand up here, look all the way to the other end. Well, I've got fog on, so it's fog is out anyway, but. Uh, very tall. Oh, I just heard footsteps. Somebody coming this way. Stand before him. Boldly upon him. Okay, they're after me. Wait, go hammers, not mechanists. And how come you were able to come out a door which I couldn't even throb? You're cheating again. <laughs> well, let's take the loot while they're after me. Dear, dear, this is bad. Another mechanist. I don't know how to escape. I don't know where to escape to. I can't go back the way I came because it was a lift only operated from below. Was your last warning? Yes, thank you. But uh, it's not warnings I need. There are guards wandering around and ridiculously long sight lines. Clearly, I need a way out. And there is not one here, and I can't climb those for safety. Oh, well, one of them lost me. What do I have that can help me here? A flash bomb. Take that. Alright, the other guy lost me because I was a little too far ahead of him. I'll... I'll take it. Ah, oh, there's explosions. Alright, he's given up the search. So, we are out in the narthex, or in the nave. I don't know. Something like that. What is this? Hammers. Dead. Oh, the mechanists and hammers are fighting. That's why they're both here. Interesting. I suppose I could use that to my advantage, potentially. Going. <coughs> I 
don't know, but there's noisy floors and not much darkness. And there's loot there. I want to get to the towers, I should probably stay away from that area. Oh, there's the strobe lighting they're referring to. Let's try it upstairs. be easier rather than putting lots of strobe lighting in your mission to just find a way to do without it. Over here. Northeast Attic. Access to the laboratory of Brother Karras is strictly disallowed until further notice. If thou dost possess knowledge of the wayward alchemist's whereabouts, such information shall be given immediately unto Vicar Felixius. Shouldst thou encounter the heretic, thou shalt not correspond whatsoever with him, unless thou be authorised by the vicar himself. Or even the heretic, but, uh, you know what I mean. Is this tile? Yes, damn it. room have we got here? Oh, more healing potions, okay. Valuable spectacles and Father Insulin. It is my reluctant duty to confirm all suspicions regarding Brother Karras and his assistant Cavador. As we fear, they did continue to conspire against thy expressly given commandments by again seeking transportation through the forbidden precursor device. As thou didst instruct, I appeared before Karras and Cavador, and forthwith did relieve them both of their duties demoting them to novice rank as thou didst instruct. And in the exact terms as thou hast expressed, I further threatened them shouldst they persist in their waywardness. However, I must report that these actions were received with much severe and vehement protestations from the mouth of Brother Karras, the very, it, the very air itself putrefied by an incessant stream of vile and blasphemous howlings that went on for nearly longer than I could endure. And what was this? Through the Builder's mercy, I did discover not more than one hour later how both he and Brother Cavador did return to their prohibited tasks in direct defiance of thy grace. Wherefore did I gather proper forces which sought out the heretics to apply their well-deserved stripes? Yet upon our return to their abodes, they appear to have gone missing and vacated our humble establishment. Thusly no longer impeded, I did set the demolition of the precursor transport device for the midnight hour tonight high upon the North Transept Tower from which its crushed remains can be safely dashed to the ground far below. Thy continuing guidance, direction, and prayers are a great comfort to me. Thy most obedient servant, Vicar Philuxus. Oh, these guys take their religion way too seriously. What? That means I know where the portal is. Wait, is it not Transept Tower? Uh, rather not. Let's read it again. Not lock picket, let's read it. Uh, high up on the north transept tower. So, here. Take these up places to get there. Good. And we are on the north side here, anyway. So. A small chapel to desecrate. Seems not. Uh, 
I suppose that sound, the big bong I'm hearing is the uh, portal itself, the device making the noise. Kara said, sleep! Whoops. Sleep lest thy brother and find a thief about to make them sleep as well. I do like the, uh, the conceit of this level, the hammers and mechanists are fighting. Control of the place. Whoa, I don't want to fall down there. It's uh, a long way down. And no reason to go back there. However, I must be near the North Transept Tower myself, right? North Transept would be this way. Yeah. Ah, of course that's the way up. So I'm gonna have to use a different way up. Such as this one, but first oh I came that way. First let us see what is on this same floor. Of benches. God, they're still biting there and using explosives, apparently. Oh, there's a convenient way across. North Tower. has not. <coughs> wow, you've got a full servant mask and everything. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Ah! Oh dear. Nay, 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 nay. I'm going this way. Ah. Is that glass or cobwebs? I don't know. Down there, well. <coughs> oh. I has to healing potion that I have need of. Uh, all right. Well, I made a mistake because I want to go. Well, I can try going to the south tower. How about that? Uh, I wanted to go to the north transept tower or the south. Transfer tower. At least I can reach. Oh. I don't think I left you there. Because I haven't been this way before. It's unfortunate when uh, usually the good indicator that I've been there before is an unconscious body, but I guess if it was a dead body, it's such a good indication that it was mechanists and hammers. Hello there. Would so I like to receive the thief's blessing?
Well, here's the tower. Could try a repair. I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Let's try. <laughs> no, All right, let's reload. Uh, you could do the multiple rib arrows up the wall thing. I don't think it's worth my while. If there's anything up there, it's merely a, a secret, not a requirement. Uh, it's just too fiddly to do the multiple rib arrows thing. Okay, let's close the door because I haven't been through there. What is this place? Oh, this goes the roof. <laughs> Oh. Oh, is that a lamp or a rope? Wow. Uh, that's one heck of a rope. Oh wow, so that goes all the way down to the level of this crossway which I ran across before. Interesting. Never thought to look up and see if there's a trap door at the top. That's quite neat. Alright. There's something. Half past ten. We have an hour and a half left. Me? Well, that should lead to the North Transept Tower, right? It does. It's good for me. Good place for another save, I think. So we just hit the uh, time. Oh, I could also walk on the outside. Look at this cathedral. This is. Uh... pretty intensely modelled. Very detailed. A lot of work went into this. It's clearly. Um... I don't know whether it's the same person who made the first map, but if it was, they clearly learned a lot before making this one. Alright, well we can get them next time they uh, come out the left, the right hand door. We just need to wait here. Uh, that didn't work. I'm stuck! Stop shooting! Yep. Good thing I'm not in any hurry tonight. Oh. There's more guards, of course. If all the rough here would end up very quickly, indeed. Uh, it's quite slippery. Oh, he's still there searching for me. Hmm. Alright, he's going back now. Let's head back. Hmm. 
No, he saw me again. So think for me, he's not a very good shot. Let's hope the guy up here is not as good a shot. So I'm gonna have to hit him on the head before he sees me. have a healing potion on you just a second ago. It's gone now. Alright, you can hide there. I don't really need the North Tower. Nice view. No wonder the Hammerites think so highly of themselves. Yeah, it is a nice view. came here from. Well, back to the North Transept then. At least it's quieter this way than outside. And my archer friend, well, I can watch for him. <laughs> Don't be still after me again. God damn, he's definitely on edge, isn't he? Yes, it seems likely that I shall not escape the... Indeed, oh, I wonder what's up there. Can I get the rope? He didn't see me, at least. Apparently. Well, I got it there for a second, I think. Oh, I was too close to the wall. This one sticks out just far enough to work. <laughs> a very narrow thing. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Garrett, we all know you're dying of plague. What? He's up here. Oh, another rope arrow. Well, there must be some way there. There's an, an, a ladder I can see. I can't see a switch. Interesting. Also, feels precarious up here. On the other hand, we have a very good view of. Oh, there's our friend. Right, let's go down. See if I can't bob him on the bonds this time. Wait here until he emerges and then I shall escape the or else. Gotcha. Maybe I shan't escape thee, but thou shalt not escape me. Alright, let me go collect my rope arrow again. 
Okay, I'm gonna get them up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have a cycle potion. That could be quite useful if I wanted to jump off the side of the cathedral. We here. Oh, I'll take a ladder. Saves me using ropes. And I see how we get to the other area indeed. Hello? He's just standing there, standing guard. Alright, well, I will climb up here. <laughs> ah, God, don't be so dramatic. <sighs> Alright. Well, it still doesn't open from this side, but I probably don't need it to open. More hammer standing guard. Hmm. Good thing I didn't go that way. and I'll run out of cathedral. <laughs> well said, Garrett. This is not the north transept tower. That's an invisibility potion. Uh -huh. Looks like I'm in business. What? Okay, the precursor portal is somewhere in that. The time machine and nothing is. What are you looking at? Carrot. Yeah, it looks a little quiet to me. Oh, is that it? That might be it. The bottle needs power, get the thing up and running. Alright, so I know where it is, and that explains why there's a hammer standing guard just there as well. I need to make my way down here. That looks a little too high to drop safely, right? Uh, let's try a rope. Actually, why don't I try a couple ropes? Oh, there is a ladder there. Good. Just use this one to get that one back. I can take this one. Now we have a guard. I think I can sneak up on him. I hope I can sneak up on him. Flash mine, do I actually have any flash bombs left? No. <laughs> oh, yikes. This is bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's bad. That's quite bad. There's a lot of them there. That's not the safest approach. All right. Too many bottlenecks. Also, I might have to kill them. That might be easier than trying to preserve their lives. Anyway, I need to give it power. Where's the ladder on this side? There. And... Powered from... The laboratory, right? Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, there is another elevator. Interesting. But no access to it. How odd. Odd indeed. Alright, well, a new conundrum of how to get power of the device and how to avoid being slain by all those hammerites um, remains to be solved. But it's been an hour, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode.